So like, what do you think? Like, if you want to bring back leg like, wraps in IGF, how do you do it? Like, I know everyone proposes a theory, but the point is to keep them, preserve them. So what do you suggest? I heard Travis say that uh, you can do it, but no score, but you can engage in NAWAS or something like that. Oh, if IJ were F were to bring leg grabs back to the rules now of throwing leg grabs in there? Do you do it? How would you do it? Like only in golden score or I don't know. Ah, that's very interesting. I had this weird idea. This is very weird and this is not even feasible. It's just a crazy idea that I think about. Yeah. You could go for a leg grab once in a match. That's it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's stupid, right? I know, but it's like uh, it's something I think about. That way, you if you go for your leg grab once early on in the match, it's over. You can't shoot it on the legs anymore. So then you could go back to your stand-up judo and then stick the leg out and go do classic judo because that's what they want to promote, right? The classic judo. They don't want two guys in a wrestling stance with their legs far away and doing the – they don't want that. So if you think, allow one yeah. shot any time in the match, you go for it, and then it ticks off a box. Like, it kind of makes it a fun thing. But then it's, like, not a real – it's, like, a weird rule right. that it's, like – it just becomes, like, this funny thing of, like, okay, if you could do that, then why not these other crazy weird rules? So I don't know. It's just something I think about. Could you imagine, though, like, you don't know if the other person – like, it's just any given time they could go for a massive katagruma. You know, like, I feel like that's really fun. I think, um, I think uh, to eliminate the wrestling stance and really promote kumikata, the easiest thing to do is that, um, first of all, you have to have both, have both your hands, like, kumikata engaged. You, like, open up. You remember, like, the old kataguruma, you see them, like, open up and then go down, but they lift their hand, like, up. Yeah. You go down one hand at a time. Mm. Oh, one hand at a time. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's good. You know, one hand on the gi before you could even shoot. You can't just shoot in and dive at the legs. You know, you no. can't do that. No. All right. That's a good rule. No. Promote yeah. good techniques when it comes to leg grabbing. And it's going to be hard to execute. Oh, definitely. Yeah. But yeah. When choke you, you can shoot. Yeah. But yeah, if you can shoot it on the legs, naturally your legs go back naturally, right? It just, yeah, so. You can shoot in golden score only. Shoot and go. Oh, that's a good one too. That's a good one too. Yeah. That's a, actually, I like that. I like that a lot. Man, so. It's do or cool. die. That, that's, that's golden score. It's do or die, basically. Yeah. What about Niwaza? How would you change Niwaza rule sets for judo? I like them the way they are right now, honestly. Yeah. You know maybe, what I like? Maybe add back the straight ankle lock. Maybe. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that'll definitely make it a little the, bit more. And it doesn't tear ligaments. Like the straight ankle lock, it's... It's it's true. It's true. Guy BJJF, no reaping, straight ankle lock, for, like from white to like brown belt, I think. I don't know. Yeah only straight ankle locks because it will allow them to first attack the legs and to yeah. defend. Yeah. You know what's an inadvertent rule that makes Niwaza better? Is if you go for drop Sanagi and you're on your stomach and you're still standing, now you can pick them up and throw them. 2012, like 2010 to 2012. What's that? I, I, uh, I, I, I understood wrongly. Yeah. Like uh, there's this uchimata you can do when they're on their knees. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So now if you miss a throw and you're just standing on the ground like this, there's a risk of you getting picked up and dumped, right? Nico, Nico Sharadashvili. Yes. He did, yeah, he did in, that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if that's a risk, now you miss a throw, you're on your stomach. Now you sort of have to go to your back and then pull guard almost. Right, because now there is no risk of you getting picked up and dumped, and now you're engaging in Nawaz. The top person's trying to pass, right? And then you know the negative judo and stand up. If you're going away from the technique by cutting and cutting and going away, you get penalized, right? I think if you got the same shido in Nawaz, where if you're constantly just trying to defend and you're not going for anything to improve position, maybe give them a penalty for a negative Nawaz, right? And uh, like self defense wise. Turtle is incredibly dangerous. Yeah, it's the worst. Yeah, you get kicked in the head. 
Yeah. Or like if it's anywhere else, like MMA or BJJ, like that's it, you're finished. Yeah, yeah. And then if you could go into a rolling knee bar, though. All right, so now straight ankle, and now we got to throw knee bars in there. Straight <laughs> knee bars, those are kind of safe. I, uh, knee bar, like that's going to crush your knee. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the heel hooks are dangerous because you're twisting them. But the knee bar is straight uh, hinge joint. It's no different than attacking a, a juji, right? I think, um, I think the outside heel hook is somewhat safe because it like you have to have your the ligaments of the ankles popped first before the knee. Mm, 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 mm. They're all dangerous. Heel, <laughs> heel hook they actually is illegal. <laughs> That's like kawazugake basically. Kinda. Is it illegal? Kawazugake is illegal, yeah. It's oh kawazugake, yeah, that. is illegal. But it's kind of not though, right? I mean, if you rotate it from Ochi and hook the leg and then go, I think that's illegal. But from the outside to pull the heel out, I mean, I still see it in competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some people yeah. get away with it. It's weird. Yeah, I know a guy who broke his leg, you know, receiving that technique. It's very dangerous stuff. All yeah, of it like is dangerous hook. though. Yeah, heel hook the ashi is definitely illegal. Yeah. You know, <laughs> dangerous period, right? Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, interesting ideas, man. I like these uh, these ideas. Very cool. And shooting and golden score is because it's like literally life or death. That's golden score. Yeah. Then you'd have to start training leg grabs again. Yeah. Right? All right. So we came up with an entire new rule set. We should send this video to IJF and see what happens. Right? <laughs> Like, hey, Marius, we just came up with this thing, me and Chadi. <laughs> I'm sure they get that all the time. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Uh, I mean, then let's let's talk by, like, for example, Neil Adams. He's one of the people that banned it. So he says that um, if it should come back, it should come from skill and having an upward trajectory. So when I said, like, one hand at the time, first of all, it's going to promote good technique. Kuzushi, Tsukuri, and Kake. You're displaying judo. You're not displaying wrestling and shooting. You're displaying judo. That's one. You're uh, you're eliminating the wrestler stance. You're engaging in more kumikata. And also, when you like go down one hand at a time, you have to pick up. So that's upward trajectory. So I don't know why not. Yeah, I like that too. Upward trajectory, that's nice. That way you can't just grab a leg and then just run them over, which is nice too, you know. Uh, but... If you could lift Motegari. them, then you could really demonstrate control, right? But Morotegari is like, you don't lift them up. You reap towards you, Morotegari. Yeah, he, originally, yeah. But you can, you know, get your hips on there and elevate them first. And then you could, right? Or cut the legs. Yeah, but that's the them. thing. Here, I, I'm going to play a little bit of semantics. But I was watching this old uh, Kodokan video. They were just uh, demonstrating Sukuinage. Mm. So they first showed the Teguruma variation yeah and then they show like a high lift double leg and they say like uh this woman she was narrating with like a very obvious japanese accent she was like uh this is not morotegari morotegari you reap towards you this is like this is lifting upwards scooping upwards so that's technically sukuinage mm. yeah that's an interesting point interesting point so going i guess so versatile you have like the basic form where you like take yeah. the like you go from behind and you just throw behind yeah. you you have the teguruma and the, like the kaishiwaza basically and like the high lift double leg that's awesome Beautiful, oh, that's all man. one technique yeah yeah squeenage though that's or the teguruma room is like that's right Boom, and then you get your hips up and you elevate, then you rotate. It's like, it's huge, man. It's so beautiful. It's a shame that that's not part of judo right now. It's a fucking shame. Very it, shame. It, 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 it can put you in jail easily. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. I knew a guy, we used to, me and this buddy of mine, uh, Victor Jean-Baptiste, we used to bounce at a, a nightclub in Brooklyn when I was in my early 20s. And then we would get into it. And then he would do that. He would go in take a room and like catch their collar, lift them. He wouldn't like slam him onto the floor, but sometimes he would. He would make sure that they go legs first. You know, he would head wouldn't go first, and that was his thing. And he would like do it every weekend. It, again. it, was it awesome. really demonstrates control. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Man, that's interesting stuff, man. If somebody's watching from the IJF, right? 
Imagine. imagined. Like I, yeah. I think I think it's gonna come back because if Neil Adams is discussing it, and uh, a lot of people are, you know, I could, it's the constant talk leg grabs, leg grabs, leg grabs. Like yeah. just don't don't shoot. Basically, engage from Kumikata and it will be fine. Yeah. You know, it's interesting thing, right? Wrestling. Think golden score. That's it. Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, you can't shoot from far away. You know, wrestling, you kind of can because you can go through the arms, right? You chop the arms, you can go down. But in judo, when someone grips you up, then it's very difficult to go. So yeah. you have to yeah. shoot from like way out here before they could even link up. That's why you have these like diving leg grabs. And if you take out of that, right, and then you, you we do what you said from Kumikata, I, I think that could be very interesting. 